And since we mentioned the moon landing, here's an update. A U.S. spacecraft has landed on the moon. The first in 50 years. But it wasn't a NASA rocket that achieved this feat. It belonged to Houston-based Intuitive Machines. It's a private company which makes this the first commercial spacecraft on the moon. What will it do there? It will conduct experiments for NASA. The landing has ushered in a new space age, one of commercial exploration. More and more private companies are going to space. How are they shaping the space race? Our next report tells you. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. Ignition and liftoff. The United States is back on the moon. The spacecraft is called Odysseus. It landed near the lunar south pole. It's the first time since the Apollo era that America has returned to the moon. But the spacecraft doesn't have a NASA logo. It's because it belongs to this company, Houston-based Intuitive Machines. It was almost like a joint venture. The spacecraft belonged to Intuitive Machines. It was launched upon a SpaceX rocket. It carried NASA's scientific instruments. Sounds like a true collaboration. And that's what NASA has described it as. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. Today, for the first time in the history of humanity, a commercial company, an American company, launched and led the voyage up there. And today is a day that shows the power and promise of NASA's commercial partnerships. Congratulations to everyone involved in this great and daring quest at Intuitive Machines, SpaceX, and right here at NASA. What a triumph. Odysseus has taken the moon. This feat is a giant leap forward for all of humanity. I am one Odysseus lunar lander. So why is NASA outsourcing its job? During the Apollo era, NASA was given over $300 billion. The space agency got a blank check. It was allowed to do anything, as long as the US was the leader in the space race. But times have changed, and there's pressure on America now to deliver success at a fraction of historic costs. Which brings us to commercial collaboration. Private companies are aiming for space, and the number is growing. It started with the success of SpaceX. The startup was once called Reckless, but soon became NASA's favorite contractor. Why? Because it makes sense monetarily. For NASA, a single space shuttle launch costs over $2 billion. But buying a seat on a SpaceX rocket, that's worth around $50 million. This way, NASA can conduct its research and also save money in the process. Zero. And it's not just America. It's happening in India, too. Right now, the country has over 190 space startups, a number that has doubled since last year. Between 2021 and 2022, private investments in space have jumped by 77%. Hyderabad's Skyroot Aerospace launched India's first private rocket in 2022. Which brings us to the question, who will dominate the space race in the future? Will it be national space agencies or will it be private companies? Well, it's not a simple answer. We're in the next phase of space exploration. Countries are aiming for the sun and going back to the moon. But it's no longer a singular effort. They're doing it with the help of private companies. It's a true space collaboration at its heart.